It's a system. For better or for worse, we're all stuck in it. It feels it's all about to erupt. Recounting royal history with a dose of fiction, the crown is back. Do you as future king have a duty? This Netflix trailer is promising fans one juicy fifth season. Historically, I'm sure, you know, it's it's up, up and down a bit. I just feel like there's way more to it than what we see. For the first time, the preview comes with this disclaimer in its description. Inspired by real events, it says, the show remains a fictional dramatization. Indeed, the new season covers years filled with real-life royal drama, like the devastating fire at Windsor Castle, the breakdown of then Prince Charles's marriage to Diana, not to mention her most infamous interview. I won't go quietly. Our battle till the end. But just weeks after Britain lost its longest serving monarch in real life, viewers will be shown a fictional portrayal of Charles lobbying for the Queen to step down. It is inconceivable that he would have suggested to the Prime Minister of the day that one way or another his mother should be obliged to uh, abdicate in his favour. Then Prime Minister John Major said it's all malicious nonsense, while British A-lister Judy Dench called the portrayal cruelly unjust to the individuals and damaging to the institution. She gonna open your gift? Netflix has been known to stretch the truth, like in its hit drama about serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. You didn't know. Got it. Or its portrayal of Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar. But that show, Narcos, starts with an on-screen warning that it's partially fiction. And some say the crown should too. I would hate for individuals to have a bad view of their monarchical system just because of them watching a show. Some of the complaints have persisted since season one. Just remember. How did it come to this? <laughs> it's a show. It's a show. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.